Hi, I'm Richard. Hi, everybody. I'm Radovan. And we're here to have our last Git configuration video and talk about making SSH keys. So this is not something specific to Git, but is used by Git and can make your life a lot more enjoyable because you don't have to go typing your username and password all the time. So an SSH key is something that can basically replaces a password when using SSH. Mm -hmm. So we both use it to authenticate uh, towards GitHub. Yes. And the same this... thing is used in very many different programs. So mm -hmm. it's, it's just a good long-term investment to learn this. And for this, we will uh, generate, we need to generate a secure shell key pair, a private key and a public key. And yeah. before doing that, it's really good to check whether you don't have one already. And these are typically stored in in a, in a directory called in my home slash SSH. Yes. And I have something in there. I have a file called known hosts, but mm -hmm. I don't have any. They are typically called id underscore rsa dot. Yeah. So currently I have no keys inside. I need to generate this key pair. And we will do that with uh, SSH keygen. SSH keygen. We specify the type of for the key. This is a good def this is a good setting, and the the length uh, yeah. of the key. This is really a good good setting here. Enter. It asks me where I want this uh, this key to be saved by default in my home under this place, and that's that's a good default mm -hmm. so i hit enter now i need to enter the passphrase we we recommend to not use an empty passphrase right i will type a passphrase and you can ask yourself why do we now have a passphrase if we wanted to avoid passwords but this is something that we will typically only type maybe once a day Right. So basically your operating system will remember the passphrase when you do it the first time and then you won't have to do it over and over again. Mm -hmm. So the way this works varies depending on what you're using and how much you need to do to set it up. And we're sort of just not going to go into that right now, yeah. I think. And here's my new key pair. This is the private key. I keep it on my computer, I don't share it with anybody. Yeah. This is the public key, which is sh safe to share. And this is the one, the public one uh, that I will put on GitHub so that GitHub can recognize me. Mm -hmm. Let's have a look how this public key looks. I will use the cat command. And this is my public key. I will copy this public key and now go over to GitHub. Here I'm on github.com, I'm already logged in. And now you need to find your, here to the top right, my profile and then settings. Mm -hmm. And then I go to the left, scroll down and we find SSH and GPG keys. Mm -hmm. And here are already two of my other keys, but uh, where here to the top right. Top right, there is a button, new SSH key. And here I can paste in uh, the public key. And I need to give it a title. Yeah, How should the I title this? reminds you of who it's for, which is hopefully you, and what computer it was made on. Add SSH key. And now I get asked for my GitHub password. I could type it in, confirm, and then my key would be on the system. Let's try it out. That worked. Here's my new key. Mm -hmm. And we want to do one more step on how you can test that the key is recognized by GitHub. How can I do that? 
ssh git at github.com. Mm -hmm. And now I'm being asked for my passphrase. Yeah, so this is the thing where the computer will remember your key, your passphrase, and you won't have to enter it again. And we see that we get an error message, which doesn't matter, but the second line says, hi, your username, you work, or you've logged in, but there's nothing to do here. All you can use is Git, and then it closes. Great, and from here on, we can push and pull and clone or using without typing the GitHub username and password every single time. Yes, and this happens in when you clone it. You select if you want to clone it with HTTPS or with SSH. Yeah, maybe I can show that quick for a repository. Yeah, when I clone my repository, I can now choose between this is the SSH protocol mm -hmm. or the traditionally the HTTPS protocol. In this one, I have to type the username and password. With the SSH protocol, I can use the SSH keys. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thanks a lot for watching. Thanks, Richard. Yeah, thank you.